Hello and welcome back, fellow Wooperians, to Universe Sandbox. And today we're going to be breaking physics because that's the most interesting thing to do in Universe Sandbox. So a while back we discovered that you can actually give things negative mass, which technically in the real world that would be exotic matter. Antimatter is a whole different thing. I've been corrected on that enough, okay? Negative mass is exotic matter. Got it. Thank you. It's really neat when you see objects, because usually if you set something to zero mass, something will just continue straight forever. But with negative mass, it actually gets pushed away, so you'll see a nice curve. So let's go ahead to Earth, go to the mass, and do negative one mass, and you'll see, instead of just going straight forever, the moon is actually getting pushed away from the Earth. And we get this really odd curve that just shouldn't happen. This should not be possible, but it is because this game is is interesting. So, on a solar system, we can do some fun things uh, with negative mass, and one of them is create insane rail guns. So, <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Now, a normal rail gun, you use electromagnets to accelerate an object to ridiculous speeds, and then just fire it at something. But in this game, we can go with a black hole that's, like, really far away. We Maybe not one that large. Let's do one with, like, uh, 10,000 solar mass so that this won't just, like, destroy the solar system because it's so, so far away. But here's the fun part. So this black hole with 10,000 solar mass uh, is going to be attracted... Oh, did I set it to orbit? Oh, whoops. Let's just zero velocity that. This black hole is going to slowly be attracted towards the solar system, and the solar system is going to be slowly attracted towards it. Wow, that's crazy. But what we can actually do... This is the part that, that is... Oh, look, the sun's actually being moved by a few meters per second. Even with that massive distance. Alright, so now we've got this, and we can see what direction the velocity is going in, and that's going to be straight to the sun. Now using that information, we can put an object in front of this extremely massive black hole. Let's do another sun, right? And I know what you're thinking, oh, the sun is really quite small compared to the things you're playing with. That That is correct, but you, you will see, you will see the purpose. Alright, here we go. And then we're going to put that here, right next to the black hole. Now you may be wondering, why? Here's why. What we can actually do is get this black hole, which has incredible gravitational pull at this distance, insane amounts of force, and we can make its mass negative. And, and now, it's going to accelerate the sun away from it, and because we put it in the direction of the sun, it's going to fire it at the sun at an incredible speed. So let's go ahead and slow things down a lot, because this is going to get a little bit ridiculous. I have actually had things go faster than the speed of light from doing this. Alright, so we're going just a few milliseconds per second. Look at the speed! It's already at 3000 kilometers per second. It's already at a hundredth of light speed, and if we speed things up just a tiny, tiny bit, you'll see that we are actually getting to a pretty good fraction of light speed here. Um, one thing is that the further away it gets from the black hole, because it's gravity, the effect lessens, so... It looks like we've already done a majority. Actually, we are being thrown so quickly that the sun is actually shedding mass. It's, it's f like, flying off of the sun. Fantastic acceleration there. I love it when I just hit the gas pedal and parts of my car fly off. Alright, that's a collision course. Here we go. Now the sun is actually starting to get attracted to this sun. They're within that range where it's starting to gain a lot of speed. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, let's look at Mercury real quick. I'm, I'm sure one side of it is just absolutely, like more melted than normal. Let's check the surface. Oh, look at that. You can see the two blobs from where both stars are heating up, and obviously the closer one is a lot hotter than what would normally be on Mercury. 
Damn. Poor Mercury. It doesn't deserve the abuse. Alright. And... Finally... This is probably just gonna supernova. Oh! Oh! Two supernova! And one of them is moving! Oh, that's... That is actually pretty spooky. Supernova moving at, like, the speed of light. <laughs> Which means it's actually moving away from this supernova at the... Imagine just a runaway supernova. Look at it go. That thing is moving fast. Like, at some point, that would, like, wipe through another solar system. That would be sad, just... It's not their fault. Everything's just dying. Cold, calculated attack. Well, that's what happens when you fire something that quickly. Uh, more interestingly is when you do this with solid objects, so we'll do something that's a little bit ridiculous, but, you know, that's part of the fun. So we'll put this Earth here, and we'll put this Earth really, really, really far away. But still. And then behind this Earth, we will put... Let's just, just do Sagittarius, because that would just kind of be a meme. Okay, here we go. Get it really close to Earth. That is a very large black hole we just placed. So what that's gonna do is Earth is now directly to the right of Sagittarius. So now when we place another Earth, all we have to do is shift it to the right and because they're in an exact line, we know for a fact that they will collide. Alright, here we go. So if we go ahead and grab our motion vector again, and get the position and set it to... Now, this is, we're going to want to make this pretty high, so... Why use nines? Because I feel like it. That is pretty damn far away. Um... But that's still... I think I want to go further. I think I want to do like 10 astronomical units because I really do want this one to accelerate far more than this one. So there we go. And then we have to move the other vectors to zero and zero. And now we're done. So what we're going to do is this is going to happen pretty damn quickly. So let's grab Earth. Let's slow things down a lot. Let's keep our eye on the motion and the speed. Um, because the speed is going to get ridiculous very quickly. Okay. So now we're at like one millisecond per second. And if we hit play, there it is. Already, we're gaining about a... <laughs> No, this is just too fast. I, I can't even give you, like, a reasonable time frame for this. Like, every second, it's gaining, like, hundreds of kilometers per second. Thousands, even. Alright, can we hit that 300,000, though? The issue is that it gets accelerated so quickly that it starts moving away very quickly, which means obviously it doesn't get accelerated as much, but look at it go! Oh my god! Alright, folks. Here's the moment you've been waiting for, and the moment I've been waiting for. Ooh! Now that is a <laughs> The amount of energy that's being transferred just is cr causing both Earths to just literally vaporize themselves. It's not really a collision, it's more of like a morphing of plasma. Wow. And they're both moving so quickly. This Earth has actually been accelerated to the speed of the other- oh. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, that's nice. They're moving at, like, the speed of light and, like, spinning into each other at... What on earth? Oh my god. Oh, I missed it! Ah! I hate it when that happens. Oh my god, what is going on here? 
Oh, that is so weird. And it just disappeared. Oh, what's left? What is left? One survived! We have a survivor! Oh, man. That is... Did, did it, like, survive? It survived, survived. It didn't even vaporize. Why? How? What kind of life insurance do you have? That doesn't even relate. That's for if you die. <laughs> I guess he didn't need life insurance. Take that, Allstate. I don't even know if Allstate does life insurance. Every- the collision was so bad that the entire height map is just like... What's that? Let's find the... It just looks normal. It just looks absolutely normal, and that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> Surface displacement. Oh my god. Oh no, there is- there is- <laughs> That is not how Earth is supposed to look. <laughs> it's just the entire planet got so crushed, like, you can still see- Oh my. Well then. I guess- I guess that answers the question. Something certainly did happen. Indeed. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Poor Earth, it doesn't deserve this.